<sighs> okay. Okay. Almost there now. 453. 455. Here we go. 457. Come on, Grace. Please be here. Please be here. Who the hell would be at the door at this hour? Oh my god. No, it can't be. Who is it? What do you want? It's Nick. And I want you to open the door. Please. Grace. I don't know where else to... Go. Hi. There. I opened the door. You can leave now. No, wait. Grace. Please. You don't understand. I'm not here for me, okay? That would be a first. Go away and don't come back. If you just open the door, let me explain everything. Just give me one chance. Because a thousand chances weren't enough for you? Damn it. Grace, she'll die if you don't help us. What's that supposed to mean? And who is this? It means I need your help. She's my wife. Your wife? Yeah. Easy, honey. We're safe now. And we're gonna get you all patched up, you hear me? Everything's gonna be alright. Sweetheart, stay awake. You hear me? Good, good. You're doing great. Shh, shh. It's okay. I know it hurts. But we have to stop the bleeding. Just keep breathing. You'll be alright. I promise. But, what? Wait, is, is this all her blood or yours? Hers. This was a Garlani job. I'm sure of it. I walked in and she was laid out on the floor. Oh, Jesus, Grace. You could have cracked my ribs. You deserve that and more. What's wrong with her? Where is she hurt? She was... She was shot in the back. I think it was a case of mistaken identity. Assassins hired to take me out. But they didn't realize she was the only one at home. I still don't know how long she was lying there. If I had been there instead. Maybe you'd be dead. So I take it a hospital is a no-go? Completely. You basically took a bullet for me. And I can't even get you a doctor. Oh god. I'm so sorry, darling. So sorry. Is the bullet still in there? No. Straight through the shoulder. But I knew we had to get out of the house before they realized their mistake. And you thought my apartment would be your little safe haven. How did you even know I was here? Dad keeps tabs on everyone in the family. I know it's been three years since you've spoken to him, but you must remember that, right? Oh, I remember. You might want to hold her down, Nick. Hey, hey. This is gonna sting, but I have to flush out the wound. Easy now, easy. There you go, that's it. I'll be as quick as I can. You're right now. You're right. Hey, sweetie, I know it hurts, but you have to stay still, okay? Just a little longer. Grace is almost done. Shh. Keep holding on, honey. That's right, I'll be done soon, but you can't move so much. Hold her steady. I know it's hard, hun, but just try to stay still. Focus on Nick, okay? That's a great idea. Focus on my voice, okay? You know you're in good hands with Grace. She always was a sharp one when it came to medicine. When we were kids, our stuffed animals were the healthiest on the block, courtesy of Dr. Grace. That's why she's the best EMT around. I see Dad's tabs were pretty detailed. I'm actually thinking about starting on my nursing degree next year. Not that you'd care to know. Of course I care to know. I'm your brother for crying out loud. You chose them over me, Nick. I hardly think that qualifies you to use that word. And there. That's as clean as it can be. Now I'll dress it. You asked me to choose between you and our father. What kind of choice is that? 
It wasn't fair, and you know it. I wasn't the one who left. You could have called, written, something. Instead, the only reason I even know you're married is because some goon tried to kill you and your wife got caught in the crossfire. Really not how I expected to meet my sister-in-law. You're right, okay? I should have stayed in contact with you. I wish I did. Not a day goes by that I don't regret how we left things. You have to know that. But I should have told you about the wedding. Told you about everything that's happened between then and now. But I didn't know how to. Everything was so complicated. Everyone wanted something from me. No one even considered what I might have wanted. Not you. Not Dad. Sometimes not even me anymore. I didn't realize... <clears throat> anyway, I think I've got this all set for now. You were right. She lost a lot of blood. And the longer she laid there, the more chance there was for an infection to set in. Damn. What can we do now? How out of the question is a hospital? Completely. I'm afraid they kill us before we set foot in there. In that case, I'll see if I have some antibiotics and fever reducers around. Ah, here we are. Best thing for her now is sleep. Though it looks like she's already getting a little more restless. Steady now. Just relax. That's it. Slow, deep breaths. Close your eyes. Try to rest. I think she's out. Thank you. Really, for all of this. I can't tell you how grateful I am for your help. Sorry to barge in on you like this. I know how hard you work to sever ties with me. I left because of Dad and what he was trying to make me into. It was never about you, Nick. It sure felt like it was. I knew you were unhappy. But for you to go up and go like that, you didn't say goodbye. You didn't leave a note. It was like you vanished from my life without warning. I thought we were a team. You and me against everyone else. My unhappiness should have been warning enough. Have you thought about what you're going to do next? Or how you're going to explain to your wife that you're secretly the son of a mob boss with more power in this city than King Louis had over France? I need to know what you're going to say so my story can match yours. No story needed. She knows everything. Not only that, but we run a part of the business together. Equal partners, equal decisions. It's us making it. It's been a lot of pressure since Dad started having me take on more responsibility. But with her with me, I just feel like I can do it all. Or at least I did before tonight. She knows? And she still wants to... Uh, I mean, that's good. Makes things easier for all of us. Surprise someone would choose to marry a man in our line of business? Your business, not mine. Not anymore. It's a family business, Grace. And your family, too. Whether you like it or not, it's in your blood. Maybe. But you were always Dad's perfect right-hand man. Took every lecture to heart. Did everything he asked and more. Meanwhile, I found a way to break every one of his rules for us. But you also found a way to do what had to be done even without obeying his orders. You were one of the best. Until I wasn't. Whoa, whoa. Take it easy, sweetheart. It's okay. We're safe now. Take it easy. Rest so you can save your strength. It's me. It's me. Honey. I'm right here. See? Can you feel me holding your hand? I'm right here with you. Oh, God. I, I'm sorry. I should have been there. This is all my fault. It should have been me to take that bullet. Her forehead's kind of warm. Let me get a thermometer. See what we're dealing with. I'll be right back. Shh, honey. Come back to me now, okay? You're not alone. I'm right here. Come on. Just focus on my voice, okay? 
I'm right here with you. Always will be. You know that. You hear me, honey? Can you feel my hand on your cheek? It's me, Nick. Yes. Yes, it's me. Darling, that's right. Mm -hmm. Shh. I'm right here. I got the thermometer. I... Oh. I know. I know it hurts, sweetheart. I'd take away the pain if I could. But I'm here. And I'm not going anywhere. Just try to relax, okay? If you sleep, the pain will go away. Can you take a deep breath for me? Sure you can. I know you can. In. Out. In. Out. That's good. So good, sweetheart. So good. It's all right now. I'll be right here when you wake up. You'll be all right. Is she asleep? Yeah. We should be good now. She always was a sound sleeper. I just hope the pain doesn't wake her up. You'll think she'll be okay? It's more than likely. We stopped the bleeding, and hopefully this fever isn't a sign of infection, just shock from the surgery or something. It's not an uncommon reaction. I hope so. What you were doing just now? It reminded me of when we were kids. I don't recall you getting shot as a kid, Grace. Not that part. I mean, talking a delirious person back down. It's an incredible skill. I remember all those nights you'd come into my room and wake me up when I was having a nightmare. You always knew what to say to calm me down. You remember that? You were so young. I just figured, well, whatever. I do too. I've missed you so much. And so does Dad. That I'd have to see to believe. <laughs> but I've missed you too. A lot. You should get some sleep too. I take it you would rather stay out here to keep an eye on her? I'll grab you some pillows and blankets. No, wait, Grace, wait. Yes, it does matter. It's the truth. <sighs> Please, for once in your life, listen to someone else for a minute. I mean, God, I didn't want to make it sound like that. <sighs> this is not how I wanted to have this conversation. I just... I always thought there was some time for you to do your own thing and then come home, you know? And we could just have dinner together like we used to, together again. And now, now everything is all getting so messed up. Yeah, Garaloni's people miss me this time. But they'll find out what happens sooner or later. Now, both of us will be walking targets. Not to mention that this whole fiasco might prompt Dad to call us for retaliation against Gurulani. What then? It's been a struggle for the last year or so. Lots of problems between the families are heating up. Sooner or later, it's all going to boil over. I'm at a loss for words what to do. And I don't know if we're ready for it. We will be ready for it. We? Let's focus on getting your wife healed up first. But after that, well, maybe it's time I think about a homecoming.